Thank you, Dr. Dean. Um, next up, I'd like to invite Dr. William Krauss. He's uh, visiting us from uh, Mayo Clinic Rochester, so I'm sure he's happy to get away from uh, colder temperatures. Our election was over a week ago. <laughs> um, anyways, that's just a joke. Um, I'd like to thank Selby and Gordon and, and Mark Pickleman uh, for the invitation. It's always nice to come down and visit. I'm gonna to talk today about something that's a little less common than what was discussed or has been discussed up to this point. By frame of reference, I mean, Gordon talked about metastatic tumors of the spine. These tumors are probably 1 50th as common. Anyways, I have no disclosures other than like I like to operate on spinal cord tumors, so. Um, talking about history, Kylie McCarty was the chairman of the department um, a while ago, it may, it may have been chair when Gordon was there, um, or no, it was before Dr. Son. And uh, he described long time ago surgery for spinal cord tumors, which was essentially a cordectomy. And this was most likely for an astrocytoma, uh, where they basically removed someone's spinal cord above and below the lesion, thinking that an unblock resection would have been effective. Uh, you know, and this is kind of a quote from the paper, which I don't think you'd get by the editors today. Um, but anyways, unfortunately, this patient that they operated on re revealed that there was dissemination and eventually succumbed to intracranial disease. And so these tumors have been around a while. They've been treated by neurosurgeons for, you know, since, since the advent of neurosurgery as a modern specialty but there really uh, still challenges exist with them that have not changed much, especially with the astrocytic tumors. So the current practice in Rochester for these, and I think it's pretty similar down here, is to resect them in stage one, review it, reconstruct if necessary, either in a second stage or as, it, as part of the first stage. And then most of these patients with intramedullary tumors will need some form of rehab post-surgical. Um, all, all Physicians involved in the care of patients with spinal disease are going to see these sooner or lot later. They'll probably see intradural tumors, but not intramedullary tumors. But the management of intradural tumors is fundamentally different than other tumors involving the spine. So you just had two lectures on extradural tumors, which basically can be removed in a fairly aggressive fashion. Um, and you're not, uh, the, the degree of um, aggressiveness can be quite different uh, than intradural tumors or intramedullary tumors. A lot of the primary tumors have to be removed in an unblock resection, which is just not feasible in this.